Hello Virgo and welcome to my channel Green Line Goddess. I hope you've been enjoying your season, Virgo's season, and I hope you've all had wonderful, beautiful birthday blessings. This is a fortnightly reading for September the 16th through to the 30th. So about a week left of your, your season and then we're moving into Libra. So we'll see how that goes for you. Uh, this is a general reading, so it may or may not resonate, but if it does, then there is a there is an extended reading that we will look into more of deeply into the energies. We'll pull out some clarifiers. We'll look into the future beyond this. So the link is in the description box below. And, you know, parts of it will resonate, parts of it won't. Often there's more than one meaning to every card or situation that arises. So just take what feels right for you and leave the rest. So we've had a few cards come out. The Seven of Pentacles crossed by the Knight of Swords. Your conscious mind is the Fool. Deep down we have the Queen of Cups. In the recent past we have the Page of Wands. In the future we have the Page of Cups. I think you had that last time. Uh, we've got the Moon card, you, in the situation. The Ten of Wands is the energy surrounding you. The Knight of, uh, the Ace of Swords, sorry, is hopes and fears. And we have as the outcome death. So a big change coming through around something you've been struggling with. Recently found yourself in a better position, found some higher ground, but I feel like it's all going to change and transform. So let's pull an animal spirit energy for you, Virgo. I feel like this is the right card, the bat. Wow, that makes a lot of sense because that's all about letting go and especially around cycles and the moon. So I'm going to start by pulling a card from this Journey of Love deck that I have here. What message do we have for the beautiful Virgos in their season? I'm actually loving what um, your, the energy, the Virgo energy has been doing to a lot of the other signs. It's actually been making a lot of them get them get themselves sorted out, get their shit together. Excuse my swearing. So we've got um, drop into your heart, number 68. Look at that beautiful energy there. Drop into your heart. So let's read that. I mean, these are only new, these cards, so I'm still just at the reading stage. Oh, it says this or oracle brings you an offering. The divine would like you would like you to offer whatever is bringing your heart trouble or, of course, joy. The divine would like to receive this from you as a gift that it may return to you some special blessing. Place your hands at your heart and in genuine reflection, Perhaps you may choose to offer your heart burden or light now. Either will be joyfully received by the divine and you shall be graced with a gift in return. Wow. How amazing is that, Virgo? Because that's exactly what's coming up in the near future, an unexpected gift or offer. Wow. Okay. And that's amazing. Let's start off also with a message from the angels for you, Virgo. What message do we have, do you have for Virgo? What message do the angels have for you, Virgo? What message for Virgo? You've got no. So it's very direct and clear, <laughs> the messages you're getting here today. Virgo, you can hear the kookaburras in the background. And yeah, something in your life that you've, that you've, um, something in your life you're getting a no or you need to say no to. So that will probably become quite clear during the reading or might also already be quite clear to you. And we ha do have a big change in letting go of something. So there is a no, but whenever there's a no, it's shutting a door and another door opens. So sometimes the no's are very empowering and positive to get and to give as well. <laughs> so we have as the situation, the seven of pentacles crossed by the knight of swords. Uh, you know, I'm liking this energy for you. This is a real Virgo energy as well. Um, it's looking at money, time, investments. It's assessing there's money here for some of you, but it's looking at where you're going to 
uh, build and grow something in your life. So it's where you're putting your time and energy. It could be looking at investments in terms of your money, like investing in shares or where you're going to, it could be looking at savings as well, wanting to save more money. Um, There is a sense of crossed by the Knight of Swords. For some, this is an element of panic, like feeling like you need to panic and need to do this very fast and make some very quick changes. But that's kind of almost stopping you from, that's blocking you from moving forward. The sense that the night, the seven of um, pentacles energy is very thoughtful. It's not rushed. It's it's very grounded energy. It's the opposite of that knight of swords, which is rushing in and just doing it, looking before you're leaping. And so, you know, it's bringing up maybe things in the past, a situation in the past where you might have done something without, and it's very unvirgo to do that, or someone has done that and it's had this effect. It's bringing up a situation around that. It might not be you necessarily. Uh, it's just that I think mostly you'd like to spend a little bit more time looking at this and maybe there is a time. There's something like about a, a sense of um, time limit on this, um, that there's an opportunity or investment that you need to jump on, um, otherwise it will go. So, uh, yeah, there, there might be a message to not spend too much time thinking about it coming through here for some of you. So let's see what's on offer here because in your in your mind, your conscious mind, we have the full card, which is new energy, starting anew with something, stepping into lovely new fresh energy uh, that has released a burden. And I feel like there's a big letting go of something here. So this full energy invites you to take a risk. And it's actually interesting that we had with that energy of the Seven of Pentacles you know, that's not in your nature. It's stepping out into a new energy that um, requires a bit of spontaneity, a bit of um, playfulness. Uh, So this is kind of on your mind, but there's a sense that, um, you know, that these kind of energies are at loggerheads with each other, the need to kind of think about things and, and be really prepared. And the full energy is kind of saying, there's no you don't need much to step into this the sun is shining it's time to go it's time to do it so there's that kind of energy around this at the base of the reading we have the queen of cups this is deep down energy and it's really looking at your emotions it's deep emotions and what fulfills you here with this queen of cups energy how you fill your cup uh and It feels like I'm wanting to go really, really slow and deliberately and and it's all about what actually, you know, is making you happy deep down. This is about deep down contentment and fulfilment. So there is something on offer here, but I feel like... um, yeah, it's, things are moving so slowly. We have in the recent past the Page of Wands, and I think this is a looking back at the past, at past opportunities and maybe seeing how some things have worked and some things haven't. Maybe some a uh, past opportunity actually hasn't yielded as much growth as you would have liked. Maybe there was a, a little bit of growth or maybe something has, some things have worked and some things haven't worked. And that's why you're at the stage now with the seven of pentacles of, you know, now that I've kind of a set made an assessment and seen what's worked and what hasn't, now I want to make something, this opportunity really work for me. Uh, but yeah, it, it's testing you. It's testing you a little bit, Virgo. We have as the near future, in comes the little happy surprise that comes in the Page of Cups. And this is unexpected. Uh, This is, I do feel like this is something that's going to suddenly come in because I think the universe wants you to step into this energy. You are wanting something new, that something's going to fulfill you. But, um, you know, it's unsure where to put your time and energy or how to or how quickly to move. And suddenly in comes a little um, change agent here with this Page of Cups. Someone presents you with an offer here. It could be an offer of love or a gift of some unexpected gift of some sort related to your heart. And it's very much um, 
connected to that very first card that came out. And I do want you to do that because it'll be fascinating to see what happens. Uh, but it comes back to you. And this helps you suddenly I feel like I'm free and clear and it's much easier to move forward here and step into it. It's like a gift from the universe um, helping you move in the direction that you're wanting to move in. So in particular to what fills your cup, what brings you happiness in the heart. So this is exciting. It's a, it's a exciting, unexpected and very, very, very nice. It could be in the form of a very helpful person as well, but it will be different for each of you, obviously. Um, so this is you in the situation. We have the moon card. And I feel like there's a bit of confusion. There's a sense um, around, you know, where you're investing your time and energy and investing your money, all that sort of stuff that we've been bringing up. There is um, a lack of clarity here with this moon energy that um, you're not sure. I'm just getting the furrowed brow of the moon. So I feel like, I actually feel like something's worrying you or bothering you. You're, um, you're thinking, overthinking something. And yeah, I do feel like something is worrying you at this moment in time. And it is related to that. Now, this is interesting because in your environment, the surrounding energies, there's something. It's not specifically to do with you. It's to do with something in your environment that you need to let go of a burden. And the bat energy that came in for you is also about letting go of something, letting go of fear or the fear of letting go. So the 10 is about the ending and not also, you know, with this 10 of wands, whatever this is that's been heavy, it can be too much overworking, too much responsibility, um, ill health for some of you. It hasn't allowed you to see the way forward. You can see this character's got this heads down and can't see where they're going. And that's kind of, you know, how you've, that's the energy that we've been, that there's an aspect of your life that it's been hard, hard to see how it's going to change, how you're going to step into the new. But there's so much transformation. There's so much new energy and old things ending and transformation and unexpected gifts and you are being asked to let go of something, to surrender something here from the universe. Now, it does feel very much connected to either an environment like a home environment or a work and office environment here is what I'm getting um, for you, Virgo. So there's something that you've taken on that's felt very heavy that it's time to let go of now. And, yeah, no need to fear that. And, you know, hopes and fears, it makes perfect sense that you've got an ace which is the new beginning the tens obviously the ending and the new beginnings coming in and this is the fresh new energy again a divine guidance a divine blessing um the clarity coming in as well a uh, new opportunity a new mindset a shift in mindset so you're wanting the clarity to know exactly and to be able to cut the cords sever the ties the psychic ties to things that have not the things though those things that have been holding you back, holding you down. And there's fear, cut the fear that's stopping you from doing that. But we do have as the outcome, here comes the big change, the death card. And this is something I think you've been building up towards, you know, you've been moving towards it, uh, working very deep down on a personal growth level here. And suddenly in comes the big change, the transformation that is sweeping all aspects of your life and in particular relationships with other people and environments in your life. Could be a big change in your home life. In particular, I'm getting for you, Virgo, but also yeah, home and money, it's all connected. So it could be career as well. So yeah, we'll look at that more in the, the deep read. But there is a new dawn. There is a new dawn and it does feel like it's just clearing a whole heap of stuff out that you needed. So we have um, as the final message from the animal spirit energies message from the, from the universe, the bat energy. And the bat is an air element of the air. The upward pointed triangle with the line through it is air. You can see it flies by the moon. So 
It flies at night. It's highly intuitive energy. It can be related to cycles. It can be related to the fact that it is time. But the red of the bat, of the wings of the bat, represents letting go of fear, letting go of a situation that has been held deep down or letting go of the unknown, of stepping forward into the unknown as well. So it's, um, you know, kind of against some of a lot of your instincts, but it, it's you kind of been asked to do that, Virgo, because, you know, I want to pull a card for um, what's happening after, after death. What happens after death? So let's find out, shall we? The, great, the big question. Um, obviously it's not. Oh, look, wow, look at this. And this is what you've been asking for, and that's the the gift. You know, the Queen of Cups was looking how to fulfill her cup, and look what comes in, the Ace of Cups, the new beginning for your heart, replenishment, healing, love. So really beautiful. This is the divine gift from the universe. It's a heart gift. It will bring you love and make you feel loved, uh, which is actually an amazing gift in itself. And, yeah, it's like a rebirth. So it's a birth um, for some of you, literally a birth. But, yeah, it's absolutely beautiful energy coming through for you, Virgo. So, yeah, I'm going to take this over to the deep read now and look at this in more detail and look at what it is that you're needing to get let go of, maybe some clues into what this unexpected gift might be. And yeah, let's look at the big change coming through a bit, little bit more. So if you'd like to come over there with me, the link is in the description box below uh, for the Virgo extended read. If this is where I'm leaving you and this is really resonating and feeling really good for you, Virgo, please like, subscribe and leave a comment. I always love reading your comments and seeing how this fits in with your life. And yeah, enjoy the rest of your birthday season and happy birthday to all those Virgos that still have birthdays coming up. Hope it's a beautiful day for you. Take care. I'll see you next time. Bye.